Hi, welcome to my channel to Irrational. I'm Pranesh Sharma and in this video, I'll talk about how we will be solving term structure of interest rate quotients in Word. So I've taken a typical term structure of interest rate quotient of Reddington's three laws where they have given us assets and liabilities and we have to first investigate whether the value of some R and N can be found which ensures that the fund is immunized against small changes in interest rate. So we will be using the present value formula as well as our DMT formula to you know find this R and N. So we don't need DMT formula directly we just need the numerator formula because denominator is already present value. So first let's make our present value equations. So because we had an annuity here we have our A5 okay RV raised to N and we could find present value of liability completely. Then we'll go for the numerator of our uh, DMT and this is why this is how I have written it. Now summation T C T V raised to T for liabilities. You can just write numerator of DMT for liabilities, denominator uh, numerator for DMTs, uh, DMT for assets. Okay. So if you are specially not writing in uh, you know equation editor, I would suggest you write numerator of DMT. Okay, that becomes easier. But what happens is especially when you are writing DMT, if you are writing without equation editor, you would be writing it as sum But it becomes difficult for representing our equation in such a way, especially when we have divisions and stuff. I would always recommend to use equation editor. Similarly, if you want to write convexity, convexity is much more complicated, right? And that too if you have written DMT formula before. So it becomes very complicated to show it in this form. But if let's say I want to show it in equation editor, I will say convexity will be equal to for summation I will say backslash sum. Now see whenever I need to write our uh, you know division and I have a complex formula in the numerator or in the denominator I prefer going here and making the fraction it's just so much easier and backslash sum so this becomes so much easier for us to read and I can instead of ct okay I would be writing it as C underscore T right? like this. So it becomes easier for us to write our formulas. Okay. Now, of course, in this question, we did not need to write those formulas. So we can just equate our present value of liabilities and present uh, and the numerators of DMT. Okay. And we will get our R and N values. You do not have to show any intermediate calculations. You just have to write your equations and write as briefly as possible anything you want to specify. Okay. You do not need to show any calculations here. It's like here, I just I have just written present values are equal and that gives me this value. Uh, these two are equal and that is why it gives me this particular value and I get n is equal to this r is equal to this. I've solved these two together but I do not need to write that. Okay, You do not need to show any intermediate calculations. Further, we will have to show that convexity of asset is greater than convexity of liability. Again, we can just show the numerators equal. So for that, I have substituted these values and because these are greater therefore convexities are also uh, convexity of asset is greater than convexity of liability okay hence the investment is immunized for small changes of interest rate 
so this way especially for calculating or writing these particular terms i prefer using equation editor you can directly write it without equation editor as well check out other videos on my channel on how to solve questions of cm1 in our examination do like this video and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next one